Hey friends, welcome back to the Disney Housewife channel. If you're new, my name's Heather. Today, I am so excited to be teaming up with a few of my Disney board game loving friends to share my collection and they're gonna be sharing their collections with you. I wanted to share my Disney board game collection with you guys for a while now. And so I decided to reach out to a few people who I knew loved their Disney board game collection as well. The first person joining us in this collab is Liz from Just a Disney Nerd. We have Nicole from Irresistible Magic, and we have Cinderella Loves Disney, who is also a partner channel. Make sure to check them out and subscribe if you have not subscribed to them already. I would appreciate it, and I know they would appreciate it. So let's just get on to this board game love. Now, today's video, I am not going to be sharing Michaela's board games, none of her Disney board games, and I think we have a Disney Princess Uno or something like that. I'm not going to be sharing any of that today, but if you're interested in seeing those um, more kid-friendly, like these are for, for families, but more um, geared toward children, if you would love to see that, I will film that in a separate video to give you some inspiration if you would like to find those games for your family or for a, a little girl in your life but today is just all about the more family friendly slash more adult version of these games like more on the trivia side and a little bit more difficult for smaller children so the very first one i have played here on this channel in a live that did not do well at all um it was my first time ever going live and it was so difficult going live is so much more fun when you have friends with you so i'm just gonna pretend that live never happened but the game that i shared was this wonderful world of disney trivia and as all of the tokens slide around in here this is what the cover 10 looks like and then all of these look at that isn't that beautiful so it is a lovely 10 and this is in the style of trivia pursuit if you've ever played that this um this game was put out by mattel and I don't know the year because I actually found this at a flea market years ago. Um, get the thing open. There we go. This is probably one of the Disney games we play the most. Um, so it does come in this trivia box. The questions and the cards. Look how great that is. So like I said, it is in the style of the Trivia Pursuit games where you have the specific categories. So that is animation, film, song, personalities, and miscellaneous. And then you have the little um, tokens. So they have a silver one, gold and white and black. And then you have the multicolored little pieces to put on. This would be like putting the little pies in the Trivia Pursuit, but they do it with these little Mickey cutouts, which I think is absolutely adorable. The questions are pretty, pretty simple. Um, obviously it's an older game so there are a lot older questions there's nothing like new or relevant in here um, but like there are such things as the live action 101 Dalmatians um, Beauty and the Beast Snow White things of that nature so there are a lot of wonderful questions in here oh and I forgot to share this with you there are two types of questions adults and kids so the adult ones will be in the standard like trivia pursuit form and then the children's ones will be much simpler so they have a photo on the front and then there are questions um, they do still have the same questions but they let you see the character so it says what is my name what movie am I from who do I order to kill the puppies and what do I want to make with the puppy skins? That sounds awful. Oh my gosh. I just forget how dreadful she is. Um, and who wrote a song about me? So that's really fun. It makes it inclusive for the entire family. So I really do appreciate that about this game. This next game is a Trivia Pursuit game and it's one that Damon will not play with me. He cannot stand this game. It is very difficult. Some of the questions are not Disney related. I would say over half the questions are not Disney related. Um, but here is the beautiful box. It's like this white silvery with that beautiful blue. And here is what the, the back of the box looks like. And this says, 
The Walt Disney Family Edition of Trivia Pursuit game provides enjoyment for the entire family, testing players' general knowledge of the world of places, music, people, fantasy, science, and leisure. 6,000 questions and answers reflect the philosophy of entertainment, which has been the hallmark of Walt Disney Productions. Enlivening this edition are many questions relating to the activities, productions, and fanciful characters created by Walt Disney Production. The cards are in this edition are divided into two sets of 500. The gold contain 3,000 questions and answers geared to the knowledge of younger players and the blue cards challenge older players. This offers each age group an equal chance of enjoying the fun and allows three different methods of play. Um, so that's really cool. I will some of the, say some of the questions were very difficult for us as well <laughs> because some of them are not Disney related. Um, I'm gonna break my glasses but this does have the um traditional trivia pursuit game tokens in here that i was talking about earlier where you put the little pies in and um like the old standard i mean this is the old one guys it has the old standard um sheet here to tell you what the categories are so we have the gold box and here are what these beautiful cards look like so they are the standard look on the front and then you're upside down Mickey there is Mickey Mouse on the back and then we have the blue box much of the same it's upside down now I don't know why it's printed this way I guess you're supposed to open it this way but it seems like the lid is on the top I don't know but this is the exact same blue with uh, upside down Mickey <laughs> so there you go that is what these are like so, and i didn't show you the other board game but this is the old standard um trivia pursuit board there's nothing disney or anything fancy on this one it's got the same old um like pieces and like, game spots or whatever you want to call it places on the board next up is this disney edition meme the game this is so much fun we've enjoyed this we've laughed so hard about this we only just play it with we only just we play it with just us two and we enjoy it so much like we'll grab out some like a, a stack of um the meme cards and then like the quotations and everything so let me pull these out for you if you haven't played this or if you haven't got it, it i mean you you absolutely have to so this says me i'm gonna eat veggies also me yeah when veggies taste like bacon and then like the random one that I just pulled out was Edna Mode. So you just pair them up and try to make the best meme with the cards you were given. Um, so this is a lot of fun. And like I said, you, you get like a, a huge stack. So we'll grab a stack like this and a stack of the, um, the actual meme photos and we'll try to blend them together and we'll just kind of like laugh at our creations. You know, we don't play it hardcore or anything like that. Um, but this will be such a fun party game to play in teams and I just I highly recommend this one if you don't have it it's so much fun the look when your internet is down the look when you spot your crush when you walk into a table and nail your pinky toe and this is my happy face so these are kind of like some of the examples of fun isn't that hilarious like yeah that's not me when I when I grab my pinky toe on something like that's I don't think there is a face that can accurately describe how painful that is. Um, but that's so much fun. Fun for the whole family. Next up is a game that my wonderful and beautiful friend Nina from Wrestling with Disney sent us in the board game swap last year. And this is the Disney version of Pictopia. It's like, what is touching me? <laughs> it's a really beautiful box. I love that. It reminds me of like the Disney Channel, you know, with the wand. This is what that reminds me of every time I see it. Um, and then here is the back of it, and I'll get into this box in just a second. Um, so what I love about this is the adaptability, honestly. Um, here is what the board looks like. Very simplistic. So these are your answer dials. And then there are coins that you can wager, tokens that match the little, um, the dial, the answer dial things. So you would just take one that matches your token, which is really, really cute. Um, but like I said, what I loved about this so much is the adaptability. Here is an example of what the cards look like. And which one of these foods is served by Lumiere? 
so obviously it's this one. When it's Damon and I's turn, we can play it as normal play. We can like wager our bets and all of this stuff. But when it comes Michaela's turn, we can um, make this easier for her. So we will ask her, um, Michaela, which which picture shows the poison apple and she can actually touch the picture to answer the question for us. So we can adjust this to her ability when it is her turn and we all get to play the same game. We don't have to um, stop the typical play and we don't have to skip the game. She can play it with us. So I think it's really nice that, you know, I found a way to do that with her. Um, like obviously this one, you know, which Mickey is from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or which one is Steamboat Willie. Like they're very obvious answers, but it makes it easy for her. The next two are all about the Haunted Mansion. The very first one I'm gonna share with you is the Haunted Mansion Clue Game. Look at this box, can you even? But you have the board with the attic, the library, mausoleum, conservatory, ballroom, graveyard, seance room foyer and portrait chamber so it's got the stretch whoa holy moly i'm gonna turn this back this way so it does have the stretching portrait room in the bottom um so that is what this looks like and i'm trying not to knock myself out <laughs> but it does have a haunted mansion in the center and these token pieces are pretty simplistic kind of plasticky i guess so you have a goofy these are really hard to see they're not the best tokens ever made there's mickey not a lot of details in any of these this is yeah that's pluto see i'm even having trouble and i'm not even trying to get it to focus um let's see who else we got donald daisy and minnie minnie is like really sassy in her purple oh that one's actually gonna show up let me see if I can get the rest of them to do the same. There's Donald. And then here is gorgeous little Daisy, fiery red. And then the cards are, this is the back of the cards. And there's Minnie Mouse. What in the world is going on? I need to go this way, I guess. And then here is the bride card. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and then you go into the rooms and things like that. For the little envelope that you slip them all in is Madame Leota's reading. How hilarious is that? So that was a really cute touch to it. And then there are ghosts that are actually around the board. So you like the hitchhiking ghosts. What else is in here? <laughs> and then we have a few more. We have the opera singer and the bride. So those are really fun. And then it does come with the typical um, checklist um, and it does have the Haunted Mansion logo here in their font. Which guest was haunted so it was haunted not scared? Which ghost haunted the guest? And in which room did the haunting take place? So like I said, it's not like who killed somebody so it's a little bit more family friendly. The next Haunted Mansion theme game is the game of life. And I shared this when I purchased it last year. I still love to do that one was really hard I don't know it could have been the day we were playing it we were really stressed out and neither of us felt the greatest um, but we tried to play this and we did not enjoy it so please tell me in the comments below like we never earned money we never landed anywhere that earned any money like I was broke before I got over like the first hill <laughs> I was like are you serious right now there's no like way to earn money there's no nothing it just seems so different it was just like it was over before it was it got started and then like some of the cards we weren't even able to use it was very confusing to me and there was a whole lot of information to try to absorb if i'm doing something wrong i would love for someone to share this game with me and like the how to because i feel like i'm missing something um but it's a beautiful beautiful game and i'm obsessed with it it just looks so awesome i'm gonna go ahead and open it and share it with you because i am gonna give it another chance so like you can see we already have it still kind of set up here Here's the cute little doom buggies. This was Damon's, obviously. We just kind of left it how we were playing it because we wanted to like come back and do it again. So you have to pop out all of these little players. That's obnoxious in itself. So there are share the wealth cards and then starter tomb cards. 
and then like long-term investment cards um, let's see is there any other ones like I said this really stressed us out <laughs> and then scarer cards so like I said it was a little difficult and it was I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the same as the other ones but like there was just some elements about this I could not figure out it really drove me crazy this is standard in the um, in the original game as well so if you look really close you can see the dog peeking out here um, really cute elements to this board I don't have the spinner in obviously um, but it's so cute the spinner looks absolutely amazing and it does go in the center of the board there's like tassels on the corner and then the spinner is a crow I just thought that was really awesome oh we're missing a few pieces that came out but yeah let me know if you played this and if it was too difficult all right I have three more games to share with you and this one is the family feud like car edition <laughs> I say car edition because if you've watched my um, Dollar Tree hauls before I love to get these little games like this the trivia games that are any kind of game that you can put in the, the console of the car so when you're on trips or long car rides um, or stuck in traffic you can pull some of these out with the family and it's like a boredom buster and it's so much fun it gets you talking about Disney topics it's so much fun I feel like with the size of these so check your Dollar Tree this is the Family Feud Disney version if I didn't say that already um, but these are so thin you can put these in Ziploc bags and you could even put them in your backpack for carry-on for flights so like literally this is the stack of cards you get it's not that bad at all it's not gonna add any extra it's about the size of a compact for makeup so it's not going to add any extra bulk to your carry-on um, so it says name another Toy Story toy that might like traveling in space with Buzz Lightyear and so the four people four toys they're people in my heart okay um, the four toys that they have mentioned here with point values um, the first one is Woody the second one is aliens the third is Jesse and four is ham now I totally get the aliens I don't know how that only has four points and Woody has 43 but because they're best pals like I'm sure he would want to go on that adventure with them but I don't see how Jesse would want to or him but those were the the um the things chosen with their um, and they give you like how many people said it so this is a lot of fun like I said to put in the car you know I think that there's a full version of this so I will probably eventually get that because we enjoy this a lot and love having that in the car game speaking of buzz is this sorry Disney edition and this probably looks familiar that's because it is the same edition that was played in the corn tournament hosted by the Disney sisters that was so much fun I hope that we're able to bring that back or hope they're able to bring it back um, because I would love to participate it was so much fun um, yeah but I had this so whenever they chose this is one of the games I'm like yes I know how to play this game it's so much fun like it is traditional sorry um, just with Disney characters and I was just so excited because the game board was familiar to me um, the cards were familiar to me so here is the back side of the card and then this side of the card like here is the Winnie the Pooh with Tigger and then the standard cards here is one of the game tokens there's two of them I always take mine apart I'm kind of weird in that way but here are two of the game tokens I'm like here's little poo look how cute he is so precious so again if you missed that Corin tournament and have never seen this game board before I'm about to show you <laughs> I'm doing it this way because that just makes sense okay here we go here is oh, ah here we go so here is what this board looks like super cool and then let's see who are these oh so this is the villains so those villains and then like heroes um the princesses and then like the woodland characters or whatever so it's a really fun board very very vibrant and colorful and just a lot of fun and here is the instruction sheet I love looking at these two in Disney games because they're always so fun and like they always have the artwork on there. A lot of fun. Like even on the inside, little Simba is in there. So this one's a lot of fun. 
Um, very family friendly, very easy, nothing major you have to learn. You basically just read the cards and do what they say. Last one is the Magic Kingdom game and this one is so wonderful. It makes my heart extremely happy. I got this years ago at, oh my gosh, probably 2006 or so at Toys R Us. <laughs> so it's pretty old. Um, I don't know if I can see a date on here anywhere. Oh, 2004. So it was probably 2005 or six when I did get it. Um, but I saw this in their ad and we drove all the way up to Charlotte to get it because we don't have a Toys R Us here and didn't have a Toys R Us here. This board is not interactive, but it does have the game um, like things that you snap in and I will show those to you because they're beautiful. Um, here is the, oh, help me Rhonda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'll try to show this to you a little bit. So here we have Fantasyland, <laughs> Tomorrowland, and Main Street. It even has the flag down on Main Street. It's just incredible. So you can see by the layout of this how old it is. Like nothing is updated, obviously. I can fold these back. They're giving me issues. Okay. And so here is Frontierland. And Adventureland, right? Yeah. The Frontierland and Adventureland. And then like right in here is, um, what is this? Liberty Square. <laughs> So it's a really fun board. I'm so sorry that there's so much shining on here, but it's so fun. All the iconic places. Oh, and then you have the partner statue in the middle. I don't know if that showed up a minute ago, but there is the partner statue. Do you see what I see? Right there. Let me try to get any closer. <laughs> it's the country bears. I thought it was just really cool. And this is like the Goofy's Barnstormer back here. It's just such a lovely board. The game tokens on this, there's pink, green, purple, yellow, and blue. And then like each one of them is a little bit different. So this one's like a mom with three kids and there's balloons. And then um, this is like mom, dad, and two kids. And one of them has like a Mickey plush in their hand. So there are event cards. Like this one says, ride the railroad, send any player to any station. And they are color coded for each um, section of the park. So this one is an Adventureland card. So this is a Pirates of the Caribbean card. And so when you get out, ouch! When you get all of your, um, when you get all of your cards, it basically tells you you have to visit all of your attractions before you leave the park. So all of the attraction cards that you draw, you have to visit all of those spots on the board before you leave, and then you have to leave. So there is autograph stations. There's one that is Donald and Mickey. So here is the Donald one, these nice, like, almost pewter. They're very, very heavy. And here is the Mickey one. Looks really cool. But those are for where you can put your autograph spots. And then here is one of the attractions that pops out. So it's Mickey's house, really adorable. The next one is Pirates. And then we have Haunted Mansion. I love that with all of the thunder and lightning in the back and all the details of the, the ghosts over here. And then we have Space Mountain. And then we have the Railroad Station, if I can get it open. So this is the Magic Kingdom one. So you can't have a Magic Kingdom game without a castle. Look how pretty this is. I love it so much. I love the fireworks up there as well. Really surprised they didn't like sneak in a hidden Mickey with the fireworks because when I see fireworks, I wanna make hidden Mickeys out of them. Um, but that's a really cute game piece as well. So that's one of the most fun games that we actually do own. Like overall is the Magic Kingdom game because it kind of makes you feel like you're there. You get to go on these attractions before you leave the park. And it's just so much fun. It makes my heart so, so happy. That is it for my collection, guys. If you want to see Michaela's, like I said, let me know in the comments below and I will film that on another day. Maybe bring her on um, and she can pick her favorite game. Please, again, make sure to go check out everyone in the description box to see what games they have. 
I'm interested to see what we have if they are similar. Um, I don't know if everybody's showing all of their games, like I said, or if they're just showing your, their favorites, but nonetheless, I can't wait to see. So I'm gonna go now and watch their videos, and you should too. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed one, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.